girls, this video is for Monday, May 18th, and we have a really cool art project we get to do today. Also, this is our last full week of class. After that, we only have a couple more days left, so let's work real hard. The end is near. All right, so we have our reading response paper that we're working on. So take the book that you're reading. If you finished it, make sure you get a new book. Today, though, we're going to be finishing up two more characters from that book you started. So hopefully you're reading a chapter book and you still have uh, some that you can read on it. So you already wrote the title of your book. You already wrote two characters. You're going to write two more characters and a trait about them. Remember, a trait means something about them, like who are they in the story. So uh, remember to have your parent write down your reading time uh, and read for 15 minutes. Write two characters. So today for our spelling, we're on spelling list 33. So your special sounds are making an ah sound. A-W makes an ah sound, and so does A-U. Claw, cause. Now, the oddball word is laugh because that A-U, G-H, sounds like an F sound. And we have some more words that are math words. We have our state, and then we have a couple of character qualities. We're working on honesty this month, and fairness was last month. So go to page 131. That's where you're going to be gluing the words, but tear out the words on page 30, sorry, sort 33, page 129. So you're going to go ahead and cut them out, remember, and glue them on. Okay, so we're going to be doing page 71 in our handwriting book, capital H, and I've done a couple here for you. Good news, this is our last week to do handwriting. All right, so let me show you. You're going to curve it straight down, straight down, loop it, connect the letter. Like if you're writing hello, you would connect that H. All right, let's try it again. Curve it down, straight down, loop it. Okay, make sure you're tilting your book. All right, let's try lowercase h. You're gonna make like an, it's like an L, but straight down and make a hump. Okay, so we're going to be doing a new kind of measuring today. We're going to be using centimeters and meters. So what that is, is it's a different system. So it's called the metric system. So everything in the metric system either goes by 10 or 100 or 1,000. So in some ways it's easier because of that, but it's just, it's going to be, you're going to be measuring differently on the ruler. So I've given you another ruler that's the same as the one you had before, but you have to flip it over. Remember, inches were on this side. Now the centimeters, CM, it's about as big as your little pinky finger now. So make sure you're using the side that says centimeters or has this. If you have your own ruler, if you flip it around, usually it has inches and centimeters on the same ruler. The other thing we're going to be talking about is meters. So I gave you a new page to cut out, and I made this meter stick. Now, there's one thing I have to fix, though. Do you see this? This is where it starts, right here where it says zero. So I'll, I'm going to make it easier by cutting it off so that I can start measuring right at the end. The same thing over here at the end. Do you see how it goes past the 100? A meter is 100 centimeters. So let's see. Now remember, these are paper. So they're not exact, but it's pretty close. That's pretty close. So this is, the ruler is about 30 centimeters, right there. And the yard, not the yardstick, it's, it's actually close to a yardstick, but it's not the same. It's a little longer. It's a meter stick is 100 centimeters. Okay, so first thing, you're going to measure these things on the page. You don't need to find these in real life. Just measure. You do not need your meter stick for this. So you're just going to measure. Line it up. The ball is what? Oh, three centimeters. So put three, it already says centimeters. So all of these, the birdie, the tee, the golf ball, measure what it is on this page. And they've already written centimeters for you. Now you're going to do two more pages. Th sorry, three more pages. You can use a centimeter ruler to measure centimeters. Use the meter sticks. If it says how many meters, that's how many of these meter sticks. Okay, so first thing you're do is 
because you're gonna guess this object in real life. So you're gonna get a pencil, look at it, and guess how many centimeters it is. Okay, I don't have a pencil handy, so I'm just gonna use this pen. So I'm gonna guess this pen maybe is 15 centimeters? So I would put 15, and I'm gonna try, it's 14, that was pretty close, 14. If I had said 10, I'm not gonna change my answer, I'm just gonna put it down because I wanna make sure that I'm getting better at estimating as I go. Now, remember, when you're estimating, don't estimate zero, it has to be at least one of whatever you're estimating. So the desk, here's my desk right here. If I measure from the ground, well, it's not really that close to a meter, but it's, the closest meter would be one meter. So I, sorry, I should have estimated first and then I write one meter. So find a Kleenex box, do the th same thing, do all the estimates first. Please don't cheat because we wanna get better at estimating. Okay, measure across a filing cabinet. If you don't have a filing cabinet, choose a coffee table or something like that, a piece of paper, a popsicle stick. If you don't have that, just choose something else. It could be a, a pencil or a marker or something. A doorway and then a table, a long table. And then you have a couple of word problems that are talking about converting and using, comparing centimeters and meters. Well, let's, let's review. A centimeter is about as big as your pinky fingernail. A meter is 100 centimeters, and that's about the same as a yardstick. So now for our scholastic activity, we're going to be doing the very last scholastic activity that they have, and it's going to be uh, the one that's about trash and recycling. So listen to the stories, and then watch the little video and that tells what happens to our trash. Now, if you have pages left in your Scholastic booklet, use that. If not, I've given everybody a new page, so you can write it on there. Uh, some people have already turned this in. If you did, I have kept it. And if you haven't, you need to turn this in at the end of the week. So, let's talk about what you're going to write. You're going to show step-by-step step what happens to the trash, from throwing it in the trash can to it reaches the landfill. So, you can draw, draw pictures and you can put arrows, like start here, draw an arrow, say what happens next, draw an arrow, but you need to label it. You can all, they want you to use words like first, next, then. So you probably want to draw your picture and then write your words down here. That would work out the best. So draw a picture, maybe put like number one. So if it starts at the trash can, you could put your trash can and you can start throwing your paper into your trash can and you can say first I throw my paper in the trash can or whatever it is you're throwing away. Okay, so then you can go to the next area and you can say what happens next. You can draw a little area arrow, sorry, and put what happens there and you can say next and then you say what that is. Then you can say then, after that, and just tell what happens and at the very end it should be the landfill. But if you watch the video, it will show you what to do. Now you probably noticed that there are no flat Stanley postcards on this board, and that's because I took them all home. I always <laughs> noticed that there are no flat Stanley postcards on this bulletin board, and that's because I took them all down and I gave them to you. So you have them to keep, and then there are a couple that I chose to put in your scrapbooks. So I'm going to be telling you about that later in the week, how we're going to be scrapbooking getting letters from Flat Stanley. But those that aren't in your scrapbook, you can just keep, and of course your scrapbook you're gonna keep in the end. Okay, so I have a couple announcements. Okay, the first one is, if you'd like an extra credit activity to do today for recess, I noticed a lot of people are doing things that involve jumping. And maybe you can figure out something that involves jumping to do for recess. I noticed my neighbor across the street was jumping rope. I noticed some of you have a trampoline in your backyard. You can jump on that. I noticed some of you like to jump in your pool. Maybe you like to do jumping jacks or play hopscotch where you jump. So let's try to do some kind of activity where you get some jumping in. I thought that would be fun to do today. Now I have a couple orders of business from Mrs. Moore. She said so that Mrs. Moore told me that for the online 
uh, musical, uh, we could use some more second graders doing the dance. So if you would like to do that, you can do it today and get it to Mrs. Moore sometime on Monday, then you can be in it. If you already turned it in, then you're, you're set. So it doesn't have to be the entire dance. It can just be a part of it because they're not going to show every kid doing the whole dance. So if you want to learn just part of the dance and then do that, uh, Mrs. Moore said it's going to be really cool having lots of different people doing parts of the dance and she's going to edit it all together and work her magic. So if you would like to do that online dance, go to the Encore page uh, on the grade link and look for that. Mrs. Joe's Dance. Now, last thing. Uh, classical music. We've been learning about classical uh, musicians and their songs all year. And this month we have a new song which is called Entry of Gladiators. <laughs> Georgia O'Keeffe-ish art project. <laughs> 